what all we are discussing in today's session first agenda of today's session first we will understand what are the important things we might discuss in this today's session we will learn how to find the square of a number you take any two digit number you take any three digit number we will learn how to find the square of all these numbers second thing is we will learn squares of all these numbers we will also see an alternative approach to find the square of a number right we will see an alternative approach you decide which is the best method which is comfortable for you then we will learn after squares we will learn how to find the square root of a number right we will learn how to find the square root of a number then we will learn cube of a number then we will learn cube root of a number right then we will learn cube root of a number and then we will learn if time permits we will also learn some of the beautiful techniques in multiplication right how to multiply any two numbers how to multiply two numbers which are closer to each other how to multiply two numbers which are nearer to 10 power k how to multiply numbers by series of ones there are multiple varieties of things which are there in this we will learn all these things and then we will also learn a beautiful technique called as digital sum right we will learn a beautiful technique called as digital sum all these methodologies we will try to cover it in our next two and a half hours of class these things are extremely important for you to solve any simplification based question sir i am not joking i mean each and every statement because please remember this statement when i start problems on simplification probably in this class or probably in my next session all these will be very very handy for you people without knowing all these things it becomes extremely difficult for you to understand the upcoming sessions on simplifications target is to complete entire thing in the next two and a half hours till 2 15 pm if required we might also extend the class for some more time i am telling you well in advance sir because it is completely up to you whether to listen to this class or ignore this class i do not force any student interested will sit not interested will leave as simple as that now listen to this carefully sir first we will start with a very very preliminary operation called as the squares listen carefully sir do not write anything initially first listen carefully how to find the square of any number right how to find the square of any number now listen carefully sir to find the square of any number there are several techniques right there are several techniques one of the primitive logic is one of the primitive logic is a plus b whole square right one of the primitive logic is a plus b whole square instead of plus i am putting a slash mark why also I will tell you after some time if time permits. A plus B whole square stands for A square plus 2AB plus B square. Do not change the order. Keep it in the same order. To find the square of a number, we will use a technique called as A plus B whole square. A square 2AB B square is what is the expansion of A plus B whole square. Listen to this carefully, sir. Two to three examples for you to understand it much more better. Suppose for example, I want to find 94 square. I want to find 94 square. Split it as A and B. A is 9, B is 4. A is 9, B is 4. Substitute. A square is nothing but 9 square 81. 2AB. 2 into 9 into 4. 9 into 4 is 36. 36 into 2 is 72. 2AB is 72. B square is B value is 4. 4 square is 16. 81, 72, 16 is what I got. Now what I will do is, I will take the unit digit 6. I will take the unit digit 6. 1 is remaining. I will carry forward this 1 to the next bit. 72 plus 1 is 73. Right, it is 73. I will take the unit digit 3 again. 3 is taken down. Remaining is 7. Carry forward to the next bit. 81 plus 7 is how much? 88. 94 square is double eight three six. Right, 94 square is double eight three six. Now, listen carefully, sir. Even if you have not understood, do not worry we will, because we will keep taking so many questions for <laughs> you to understand it better. Listen carefully. Suppose, for example, I will take another two digit number. For example, I will take it as 78 square. Take any number whatever comes to your mind. Split this 78 as A and B. A value is 7, B value is 8. Substitute. A square is nothing but 7 square 49. 2AB. 2 into 7 into 8. 7 into 8 is 56. 56 into 2 is 112. 
B value is 8, 8 square is 64, take down the unit digit 4, 6 is carried, 112 plus 6 is 118, take down the unit digit 8, 11 is remaining, carry forward to the next bit, 49 plus 11 is 60, answer for 78 square is 6084, right, answer for 78 square is 6084, that means, other than the leftmost digit, this is my leftmost digit. Other than the leftmost digit, in all the remaining in all the remaining places, take down the unit digit, drop down the unit digit, carry forward the remaining digit uh, digit to the next bits. Other than the leftmost digit, right? That is the logic. 94 square is the double eight three six. 78 square is six zero eight four. Right? 78 square is six zero eight four. Now you might get a doubt. First two questions are two digit number. Sir, what if I take a three digit number? Will this logic work out? Definitely this logic will work out. Suppose for example, I am taking 117 square. 117 is a three digit number. I am splitting 117 into two methods. Method 1 and method 2. One of the method of solving 117 is by splitting 117 as 11 and A. The other method of solving is by splitting it as 1 and 17. So first let us apply method 1 and let us check whether we will get the same answer or not. Now see here, A value is 11, B value is 7, A square is 11 square, 121, 2AB, 2 into 11 into 7, 11 into 7 is 77, 77 into 2 is 154, B square is nothing but 7 square 49, same logic I will implement sir, take down the unit digit 9, 4 is remaining carry forward, 154 plus 4 is 158, unit digit is 158 is 8, 15 is remaining carry forward, 121 plus 15 is 136, right, 121 plus 15 is 136, we got the answer for 117 square as 13689, right, we got it as 13689, let us check whether we will get the same answer by using method 2 right by using method 2 now see here a value is 1 b value is 17 a square is 1 square 1 2 a b 2 into 1 into 17 is 34 what is the sub b square 17 square is nothing but 289 right 17 square is 289 now observe carefully sir if i take my first example b value is how much b value is 4 b is 4 in the first example 4 is a single digit number, right? 4 is a single digit number. Because 4 is a single digit number, I will also take only single digit from the end, right? I will also take only single digit from the end. B value in the second example is 8. 8 is also a single digit number. That is the reason I also took only single digit from the end. B value in the method 1 in the third example is 7. It is again a single digit number. I will also drop only single digit from the end. But what is B value in this case in method? to B value in this case is 17. B value is 17 and 17 is a two digit number. If B is taking single digit, you should also drop only single digit from the end. If B is taking two digits, you should also drop two digit from the end. That means I will not only drop nine from the end, but I will take last two digits of 289 and I will drop it. I will drop 89. 2 is remaining carry forward, 34 plus 2 is 36, I will drop the last 2 digits of 36, last 2 digits of 36 is 36 itself, remaining in the leftmost digit is 1, write down as it is, both the ways you will get the same answer as 13689, very very important key point, if B is taking 1 digit, you should also drop one digit from the end other than the leftmost place. If B is taking two digits, you should also drop two digits from the end other than the leftmost place. In general, if B takes N digits, you should also drop N digits from the end other than the leftmost place. I believe that the idea is very, very clear for my students. This is something which you will understand over a period of time. Why all these things are extremely important in your problem solving. I believe that solving a three digit number is very, very clear for you people. Now, you might also get a doubt before I give a little break for you to analyze the first three problems. You might also get a doubt. Sir, suppose I have another number called as a 996 whole square. Yes, 117 is a three digit number, sir. 
same is the case with 996 whole square also 996 is also a three digit number suppose if i want to solve this question but this method by using 996 whole square as my number how will i solve it now see here suppose if i want to solve 996 whole square again there are two ways of splitting 996 whole square one of the ways of splitting is 99 and 6 Another way of splitting is 9 and 96. If I apply method 1, a value is 99. 99 square, I should get it as a square. But I don't know what is 99 square. Most of the people will not be knowing what is 99 square. So, this method will not work out for this particular number. Because I don't know 99 square so easily. Right? A value is 99. 99 square, I am not that comfortable with. Similarly, if I use method 2, a value is 9. 9 square we know. B value is 96. 96 square we might not know. Most of the students might not know 96 square. That means 117 is a 3 digit number. 996 is also a 3 digit number. For one of the 3 digit numbers, both the methods work so beautifully because you know what is 11 square. You know what is 17 square. But for some other 3 digit number, both the methods will not work so beautifully because you don't know what is 99 square. You don't know what is 96 square. So what is the methodology which we are implementing to solve this kind of numbers called as 996 whole square. That is what I will discuss after you analyze this entire screen for the next one minute and then I will take it how to solve 996 whole square. First view all these things for the next one minute sir then we will take it forward for 996 whole square i believe that everyone is very very clear until this point of a time kindly comment in the live chat if it is clear for you people till here banking aspirant is that the same for 182 square 182 square you know how to split it as 18 and 2 right sir for all the students, thank you for bringing this into attention, bank aspirant. Very, very important point I said some days before also. Every student should know minimum square till 25. I repeat, it is minimum till 25 you should know. Every student should know cube till 15 minimum. That means, if I ask you 22 square, without thinking much, you should tell it as 484. That is where I believe that you know 20. 22 square value right you should not calculate 22 as 22 square as 22 into 22 so for your question bank is aspirant 18 182 can be written as 18 into 2 18 square is 324 right just keep on listening sir you will get a tsunami of confidence in solving aptitude problems in the next few hours of time next now how to solve 996 whole square 996 whole square is what we discussed and we could not get that methodology easily by our previous method let us see how best we can solve this particular number now see here we all know that a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b just listen carefully sir i will make you solve without using pen in two minutes a square can be written as a minus b into a plus b minus b square if it comes to the right hand side it becomes a plus b square right minus b square will become plus b square now see here listen carefully listen to the first problem carefully 996 whole square i need to find right 996 whole square i need to find step number one this is a square this is 996 square in place of a i have 996 so a value is nothing but how much 996 I know the value of A, right? Step number 1, I know the value of A. Step number 2, 996 is closer to which number? It is closer to 1000. I will assume the base as 1000. You can take any base, whatever you like. But I am assuming it as 1000. Now, if I assume the base as 1000, my small b, what is this small b? Small b is nothing but difference between the assumed base and the original number. 1000 and 996 difference is how much 4 i know a i know b value substitute and simplify you will get the answer if i substitute it a a minus b 
996 minus 4 into a plus b 996 plus 4 plus b square is nothing but 4 square 996 minus 4 is 992 996 plus 4 is 1000 4 square is 16 992 into 1000 is 992 triple zero plus 16 your final answer is 992016 right your final answer is 992016 but sir this takes a lot of time in writing all these things can we directly tell the answer within one liner so that we will not write each and every step and get the answer and waste our time yes it is possible sir whatever i have written on the right side of the screen same thing i will do it again same thing but i will not write it Rather, I will keep it in my memory and I will try to solve the answer in one liner. Now, see here. I need to get 996 square. Step number one. Everyone listen carefully, sir. Step number one. 996 is closer to 1000. What is B value? B value is 1000 minus 996, which is 4. Step number one. Find out the value of B. B value is 4. That means, sub, that is first step is find out B value. Step number two subtract b from this number 996 minus 4 is 992 write down 992 step number 3 1000 is the base base is having how many zeros base is having three zeros 1000 has three zeros sir right that means after 992 you should actually write three zeros that is what i wrote here on the right hand side of the screen you should actually write three zeros after 992 but don't write three zeros remember that you should write three zeros but don't write it just remember that you should write it similarly step number four b value is four what is four 4 square, 4 square is 16. Now observe carefully sir, can I say that instead of writing 3 zeros and then adding 16, I will write only 1 zero, right, I will write only 1 zero, the last 2 zeros I will replace with b square value as 16. Your answer in one liner will be getting as 992016, right, 992016. Don't waste your time, sir. Don't think that you did not understand. Well, let, let us take a few more problems. First problem of today's class, 94 whole square. We solved by using an A plus B whole square. Using this methodology, better, let us see whether we will get the same answer as 8836. Listen carefully, sir. 94 is closer to 100. 100 is having two zeros. First of all, what is small b value? 100 minus 94 is 6. Subtract 6 from 94. 94 minus 6 is 88. Write down that 88. Base is 100, which is having two zeros. That means after 88, you should actually write two zeros. But don't write it. Remember that you should write three zeros. B value is 6. 6 square is 36. Instead of writing 2 zeros, instead of writing 2 zeros, write down 36. Same answer we got it by using A plus B whole square.